What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and the brand new season three menu music is absolutely fire, but let's go through our brand new battle pass. Shout out to the PR team at Call of Duty for sending over the Black Cell bundle. So Black Cell is currently active and as you will see in the instant unlock sector of Black Cell, you're going to get a grenade skin. Let's see if I can, can I click it? There we go. You're going to be getting a grenade squin, squin skin called aggressive action with death effects pretty cool looking you're also gonna be looking at the double barrel disrespect operator finishing move 1100 cod points a blueprint for the bass b called all that glitters featuring async tracers and desync dismemberment and the brand new black soul operator stasis pretty damn cool also instant rewards for the base battle pass bundle in season three obviously you get a 10 percent boost towards progression you get the bass b hope breaker Battle Rifle Blueprint, and then the Tactical Pet Dio Double G Operator Finishing Move. You also get the new Makarov skin called Dominus, and then there is the Black Cell variant that looks just like that with the mask on. I know people are a little bit tired of masks, but yeah, that is the new Makarov look. Also got a new Snoop Dogg skin. Obviously, if you had Snoop Dogg in Mono Over 2 last year, it carried forward into this game, but this is the new method to play as Snoop Dogg if you don't own the older bundle. Shaders just completed. We also have the really cool looking Snoop Dogg Black Cell variant skin, which looks absolutely insane. Probably one of the best selling points of Black Cell this season, if you guys are interested in cosmetics, hence why you're probably watching this video. You probably, you probably care about skins. But for Sector 1, we of course have a double weapon XP token for 45 minutes. You also get a raw Ethereum crystal zombie acquisition, the Slayer weapon sticker, followed by a pretty cool looking Snoop Dogg large decal. So of course, Snoop Dogg is a celebrity crossover for this battle pass. You're also gonna be looking at the Steely Gaze Lockwood 300 blueprint, and then a Black Soul variant featuring tracers, as you will see. They're really liking the looks of our Black Soul blueprints this season. We also have the One-Eyed Samurai emblem, the Koi handgun TYR blueprint, as well as a uh, Treasures Untold large decal and a one hour double XP token here in Sector 2. But you also got a new Operator skin for Swagger called Akuma and even a Black Cell variant featuring a bit of a mask there. Pretty cool. And moving on to Sector 3, we have our all for one large decal. The one is none emblem. You also have a back at it calling card followed by a splitting hairs weapon charm. And then you get the Knight's Errand melee weapon blueprint for the Soul Render. That's the weapon that came out, I think, mid-season for Season 2. The Season 2 Reloaded Classified Unlock. Pretty cool to see a blueprint for that. We also have the Dead Man or Dead Men Walking weapon sticker. A 30-minute double battle pass XP token. Followed by the Victor's Helm weapon charm. And then you get the brought back up large decal here in Sector 4. And then here's our brand new sniper, the Morris from Advanced Warfare. Really cool to see this. This is the base version of the weapon. Looks like a bit of a blueprint, but it's not. It's just the base version. And you see electricity kind of sparking from the weapon as you use it, which is awesome. Very futuristic. Uh, sector 5, we have 100 COD points. A 30-minute double XP token. A blueprint for the attack eradicator called Sworn Blade. Followed by the Jolly Rogers calling card. And then a brand new operator skin for Ripper called Corsair. You have a Black Soul variant as well, featuring some pretty cool goggles and then some other armaments on the operator herself. Sector 6, we have the new blueprint for the SOA Subverter, the Magnetic Impulse. Very viable weapon to use inside of every game mode. One hour double XP. Uh, the one you hide large decal, and then 100 COD points, followed by a new finishing move called Sidearm Swap. Very cool to see that. Sector 7, you got some XP tokens. Uh, the Fugitive Lockwood 680 blueprint. 100 COD points, and then a brand new skin for Cardinal, or excuse me, a new skin for Doc called Cardinal. And here's the Black Soul variant of the look itself with the hood. We saw a similar look for some other Black Soul operators last season. Sector 8, pull this for me weapon sticker. Got a double battle pass XP token for 15 minutes, followed by a bullets to spare weapon charm. Pretty nice. And then we have a night vision large decal, followed by another brand new DLC weapon, the FJX Horus, previously known as the MP9 machine pistol. It's actually an SMG here inside of this game though. Sector 9, we have an animated calling card, no eye in team. Got a blueprint there for the SPR, the planned uh, expiry. And then we have the whatever it takes animated emblem and a zombie acquisition for Shatter Blast. Again, acquisitions are just temporary uh, little bonuses through the battle pass, right? They're not permanent schematics. But we also have the Veal Breaker Bass B blueprint and then a Black Soul variant, as you can see, featuring the tracers and dismemberment. 
Sector 10, got a double weapon XP token for 30 minutes. Got a new blueprint for the DG58 LSW Bladed Praise. Got some COD points, a Speed Cola Zombie Acquisition. Hopefully more than one, maybe it's two of them. And then we have a new Operator skin for Riptide called Scapel, or Scapel, there we go. And then here's the Black Soul variant of that same skin. Loving the uh, golden aura around the skin itself. Need some more blue, though, in some of these Black Cell skins. Uh, Radio Chatter Weapon Charm in Sector 11. Followed by the Rain or Shine emblem, which looks pretty damn sharp. Got a double weapon XP token. The 2020 Calling Card. And a brand new blueprint for the TAC Evolver called the Blade Eater. And then you're going to be seeing uh, Tracer Impact on the base version. As well as... Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. That's Tracer Blueprint even without Black Cell. Hell yeah. But then with Black Cell, you get... This version featuring different Tracer in this member mint. That's actually badass. Tracer Blueprint without owning Black Cell. 30-minute um, double XP token, Sector 12. We also have the Knight's End Emblem. The Pocket Knife Weapon Charm. Followed by a Blueprint for the Holger 556 Slick Dispatch. And 200 COD points there to wrap, to wrap it up. Sector 13, we got uh, Animated Calling Card in the red. A Blueprint for the SVA 545 Grim Renewal. Followed by the Interrogation Department Weapon Sticker. Double weapon XP token for an hour. A brand new operator skin. Or brand new operator altogether. This is Banshee. And then here's the Black Cell variant of this new operator overall. Sector 14, we got a double weapon XP token for about 30 minutes. Followed by a blueprint for the HRM9 live line. Got an animated emblem there called Airborne. Kind of looks like Stitch, but no, it's clearly just a pilot. Uh, we get 100 COD points. And then a brand new blueprint for the CAT AMR sniper rifle. The Sealed Fate. Followed by the Black Cell variant of this blueprint sector 15 we also have the do not handle weapon charm animated calling card staying frosty double weapon xp token for 30 minutes a brand new hatchback vehicle skin coney coop and then we have the new melee weapon of season three the gladiator obviously there will be a beast glove variant of this melee weapon if you buy all the godzilla x kong bundles of course optional sector 16 we got the uh laureled emblem 45 minutes of regular XP, a BP-50 Walking Contradiction weapon blueprint. And then we even have the Halves of a Hole large decal. New Operator skin for Corso called Cask. Here's the Black Soul variant of that skin there. Again, with the mask on, you get some blue in there. And the gold aura around the Operator. Uh, pretty cool rewards here in Sector 17. Got a Legendary Ether tool. Hopefully a couple of them. Uh, we also have the First Rounds on Me weapon charm. A calling card called Eyes Up. And then we got 100 COD points followed by a brand new blueprint for the Morse. This is the Situational Hazard skin. Pretty futuristic looking. And then here's the Black Soul variant featuring some tracers and dismemberment. Sector 18, we have a new blueprint for the uh, Bulliamat 762. And then there is an animated emblem called Heads and Snakes. Animated calling card, Girls Night Out. And then we have the Fire and Brimstone weapon sticker. Followed by a new operator skin for Byline called Saboteur. Here's the Black Soul variant as well. Very similar looking. Thought it was a Dokimi skin from far when we saw the image in the blog post. But no, it's actually Byline. Uh, Sector 19, we got a weapon sticker. Grim Chances. Battle Senses. Large decal. Double weapon XP token for an hour. And a Ray Gun Wonder Weapon case. Of course, an acquisition. Not the schematic. But if you want a free Ray Gun for zombies, there you go. 200 COD points to round it out. Coming towards the end here, we got Sector 20. 100 COD points. Uh, the Cranial Structure Weapon Sticker. A Die, Die, Die Weapon Charm. And then the calling card called Two Heads Are Better Than One. And then lastly, we have our new blueprint for the FJX Horus. This is the brand new SMG, uh, Glean Slash. And then there's a Black Soul variant as well with the Tracer and Dismemberment. Very damn cool. But can't forget about our completion sector. So, you're going to be looking at 300 COD points. The Scoped and Loaded emblem there and then we also have an mtz 762 faded weapon blueprint followed by our t100 operator called hush you also got a black cell variant for this new character as you will see can't forget about the badass macroff tier 100 skin fenrir an actual wolf with glowing red eyes and there is a black cell variant with gold eyes instead and some other tactical gear on them so yeah a lot of cool animal themed operator skins here inside of season three but that is our entire Battle Pass map. Classified Sector opens up in about 27 days. That'll be about May 1st. That's Season 3 Reloaded, or that's when Season 3 Reloaded should be dropping. And, of course, uh, this event starts in 7 days. That is one of the 420-themed uh, events, which is pretty damn cool. But, yeah, you could, of course, start from here if you buy Black Cell. But if you don't, you have a different starting point here uh, towards the bottom left. But, yeah, you can go as you please to get all your weapons. Um, I think it's holding R. What is it? I think it's R2 on controller. 
to claim a whole sector at once. Yeah, R2 on controller. So we can start progressing through our Season 3 Battle Pass. I'm going to go for the Morse right off the rip, as you will see. Let's go ahead and get that unlocked. Just so we have a brand new sniper we can use. We can actually go for the SMG right away as well. Let's grind a few more, uh, a few more tiers. But ladies and gentlemen, that is our Season 3 Battle Pass here for Mono Warfare 3 and Warzone. Leave all your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody.